the world it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing hermitcraft Futaba, infinity stuff and things hope you guys are having a good day i'm having a really good day and today we're gonna do more work over here with something i'm really excited about the new thumbcraft stuff and things i want to tell you guys thank you so much for all your likes and support in the last video I can't remember how much you got. I think we broke 1,000, 1,500 likes. It was so cool. So, yeah, thank you guys so very, very much. It's so very much appreciated. And um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button as well. We're going to go ahead and throw that guy back on there. We've got our super sucker pucker, who's a little less suckery, but a little more puckery up in this piece. And um, I noticed I don't think there's any way that I can um, not see the sucker pucker anymore. Like, you know how normally with a node... You've got to have the some sort of like goggles or revealing or something like that to see. Like you can see right here, the vis relay lines are really difficult to see unless I put the draconic helmet on like that. But with the sucker pucker, now that it's energized, you can see it from everywhere. Check it out. Even from outside of here, you can just barely see its amazing glow. Oh my God, this thing is unbelievable. So yeah, all right. So down inside of here, we got a lot of work to do. And I want to just kind of take it one project at a time today. Want to start working on these pillars, do a little bit of aesthetic work. I also have decided we're going to take all of the uh, the void jars and then pump all this stuff into the system. So what I got to do next after the pillar thing is we got to go ahead and make some more of the essential storage cells. Um, we want to get maybe 10 16K essential storage cells online to start with. Get rid of some of this flux scrubber stuff, the crucible. We don't need that stuff anymore. Um, maybe also I was thinking about starting to try to automate this over here too, the alchemical construct. And we've never really used the alchemical construct. And I think it would be really cool to get that online and start using that too. So I'm not sure how many of these projects we're going to be able to get done today. But we're going to be able to get some done. So it's going to be really cool. So, um, all right, limestone strips, not those. The first thing I thought we'd start off with is maybe let's go ahead and take these guys, pop in it, pop in it, some of this stuff, and just take a look at how these are going to look. Four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight, I said. Maybe if we start popping these down into strips. Now, these have that little gray portion on the side there so let's see if we were to take these and then just start maybe stripping this guy out now what we could do is kind of go like this and like this and you know what i don't think it's going to look good i think that we need some purple but not this purple because there's no purple because it's cover strips so oh there we go pop that guy off maybe this right here would be a little bit better of a block let's check it out here so let's pop inside of here grab some void there they are we've got eight right there squirting it squirting it back into the system and uh let's make these into strips and i bet you they're gonna look a lot better but yeah i hope you guys are having a great day i'm having a really good day i'm really excited to be playing with the uh thomic energistic stuff oh yeah that looks better i'm gonna pop those off like that it's still a little maybe dark but actually i'll tell you what once we add a few of them and there it gives it a little bit of something you see what i'm saying you picking up what i'm putting down and then if we do all of them it'll look really i think it'll look a lot better i think it'll look pretty good it's still a little dark maybe all right let's check one more thing out real quick uh we got regular void stone let's just make 50 of those guys let's go ahead and start that and we made 56 all right let's grab our chisel maybe there's one other kind that we can take a look at here and see if it's going to be good i'd like it to be a little bit brighter so so i want to check out there oh man all right so i don't know you know looking at kind of just the corner bits these all look kind of dark these all look kind of dark that's definitely super dark maybe just the regular void stone would be better let's go ahead and grab these guys and grab eight of these and start making these into a thing. Copy those over like so. Void stone strip, void stone strip. How does Forge Microblocks tell? I know, it has the little metadata thing on the side there. All right, maybe we'll start over here. Let's just start placing these guys. And then we'll pop in it, pop in it. So there you can see over there, that one's still a little bit dark. And I think it has something to do also partially with that. The sucker pucker is making everything bright. It's changing. I do believe it's got that. You know, the aura is kind of like a gamma around it. That looks better. There we go. Then we get a little bit more contrast there. Um, so that means a lot of micro block placing stuff and things has got to go on. But it's no big deal. Put on some tunes, man. Just hang back. Placing some micro blocks. Oh, I can't place one right there. So we'll have to do some of it. But all right, that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to church up all of these pillars with the forge micro blocks and then I'll be our bees peeps 
And we're back, and we got a bunch of aesthetic stuff and things done. Takes a little while to place all those little guys, all those little blocks. Uh, and so we got all the strips taken care of, and so these look a lot better now. I just wanted to get a little bit of an aesthetic thing. You know, you got to balance your technical stuff and things with your aesthetic stuff and things as well. Take notes. So um, I did also then end up running, uh, cabling all the way up all four of these guys, just because I want to be able to draw uh, AE off of any side. I don't want to have that only be coming out of one side. So I went ahead and made some more cable, ran all these guys up like so. Let's go ahead and just finish this uh, up real quick. Crap out, maybe we won't. All right, so we need some more Tyrion cover facades. I think, I bet you any money I'm out of Anchors. Oh, we are. All right, let's make some Anchors real quick. So we won't use iron, we'll use aluminum, like so. And then I bet we've got a Kenefi in here, even though, no, we don't. So let's go ahead and make a cutting knife real fast as well. We will make that many. Nailed it, a stick can't be stopped. All right, so now we can take our aluminum, squirt it down in there. We can take our quartz cutting Kenefi. We'll make a little anchors. Now that a stick can't be stopped, now we'll take our anchors. Now don't tell me I'm out of Tyrion, because that's just going to be, then I'm just going to be like, oh yeah? All right, we have a little bit of Tyrion left, so make a couple more stacks, should be good to go. All right, now we can pop up here, finish this guy off. Now I was taking a look at the rabbit hole, and I got to tell you guys, I kind of came on the line today with the idea that we'd get like a huge amount of stuff done. Now we're going to get a lot of stuff done, I'm definitely confident, but the more that I looked at the rabbit hole, that is the Thomic Energistics, the uh, AE integration into Thomcraft, um, it is quite a rabbit hole. It is quite a thing. So it's going to be really interesting, though. I was just kind of taking a look at in my in my Thomonomicon, kind of thinking about how we're going to get it all to work together. Um, and it's pretty cool how it all works. I'm really excited to get it built because, especially with like the Crucible that we've been always using. All right, so that's done, done and done. So the Crucible that we've always been using here, we're going to be able to automate that all with AE and using the alchemical construct right here. So it's going to be super rad to do that. But the next project we really should work on is probably getting all these guys in here. So we've got all these guys. Oh, wait, we can't. We can't use all these guys in there. Oh, yeah. So I'd love to move them all in. But the problem that we have is that we've only got storage space for 16 or 12 Essentia types. So we need more 16K storage. So actually, let's go ahead and just start placing some of these back down. We can just place them anywhere for now, like so. All right, so we need more 16K storage. So we can craft that manually, or we can start to try to get the alchemical construct online. Now, probably what we should do is grab this crucible. We're not going to need that guy anymore. Let's grab a piece of Tyrion, squirt it down inside of here, like so. Grab our flux scrubber and our bottle of water stuff and things. And we'll just kind of like throw those guys inside of here like that. One piece of coal as well. Now I'm guessing and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking and I'm guessing, but the best way to set these up is probably going to be, oh, let me see here. I got a cool idea. Let's pop this guy off, pop that crucible out like that. Let's go ahead and take the crucibles. Maybe we can set them like this in a diagonal pattern. That might be kind of cool. Let's take the alchemical construct and stick it back on here. Let's go ahead and grab our wand. Oh, whoa. sorry about that. Oh, wait, do we need juice? We need wand juice, I think. Let's go ahead and switch these guys out. There we go. Oh, wait, I don't know if we needed juice, but we did it. Anyway, ailed it, nasty, ailed it, it can't be stopped. No, not even a little bit. All right. So we've got an output side on the front here and an output side uh, would be on there. And I think we can rotate this. Uh, shift, no. No, not control. I thought we could rotate that guy a little around a little bit. You know what I think we can do? I think we can, without knowing how to rotate it, just break it. And then create it this early direction. No, this early direction. All right, there. That way the output's facing in this direction. Yeah, that should work. Oh, no. You know what? We're not. Okay. Okay, so chink in the armor, Ted. So I was thinking this might be cool, but what we want to do... Another thing that we want to do in this whole design is we want to use these guys, these mnemonic matrix. Now, I don't know if we can stack those in the center here. That's the thing. I don't know if a mnemonic matrix will hook to both of these guys if we set them up in this way. So it might not work. That's something we can try out for sure. So the alchemical construct, we've got to make a couple more of these guys. 
in order to get this up and running. Now, the reason that we're going to make the alchemical construct is so that we can start doing some of the crucible stuff without using the crucible. Um, and we can, even though we don't have a lot of Essentia in the storage, we can get it all wired up, I do believe, and then feed in what we need. So that to, to kind of get started. So there's some other stuff and things we're going to have to get in, onto making. Now, one of the other things that we need is the Essentia provider. Now, this is what, something we're going to do in Arcane Infusion Force. So it's a good thing that we do have some of those things still up there. Since we don't have this all automated yet, we want to have our Essentia in our jars up top. So we're going to need a Coal Essence Core, a couple of Coal Essence Cores, some Salus Mundus, Filtered Essence Tube, some stuff and things that will make the Essentia provider. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of automation going over here. That's kind of the first order of business in order to help us to make some of the 16K storage. Now, another thing that I was taking a look at is the Arcane Assembler. Now this is gonna allow us to start making some of the stuff and things that we could do here in our Arcane Crafting Table and have it be automated the way AE normally automates the, the, the with the um, Molecular Assembler. So now this guy is pretty tough to make. We've gotta make Thami Boss Silverwood Scepters in order for this to happen. So that's kind of like another little rabbit hole we gotta go down, cause we've gotta get, um, oh wait, hold on a second. Let me read that one more time. It is scepters. So we haven't even gotten into crafting scepters yet. So we have to look into the scepter crafting stuff and things. It doesn't look like it's that tough to do. Yeah, it looks pretty easy. We just need the primal charm and then the thomium caps and the silverwood stuff and things. But yeah, but we've gotta make a couple of those or at least one. I'd like to probably get two online um, so yeah, so that's a whole little rabbit hole too. Uh, but the cool thing about if we automate this guy, we can go ahead and start making like balanced shards in here. There's a lot of cool stuff that we can make inside of it. So yeah, that's up in the next order of business. I'm going to work on it and I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back and we're about to make our first formation. Uh, no, pardon me. We're about to make our first, uh, thingy, Essentia Provider right here. We got to get an ME interface, which we don't have yet. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. We had everything but the interface. Let's grab two of these guys, squirt them up inside of there. We're just gonna squirt this into here and take our wand. Now that a stick can't be stopped. So now this is gonna be doing this thing. It's sucking all the stuff. And you know, actually I was doing, uh, trying to figure out how to get this going and I realized uh, Machina, I didn't have any. I looked all around for it over here. Wait, is that Machina right there? No, see, I looked all around for it here and it was weird. I thought I had this completely measured out if you remember but I didn't have any, um, so I made a little bit, and I had to go old school in order to get that to happen. So we had to set up the alchemical furnace and the arcane alembics um, and get that all working over here. So I, I did went ahead, or I did, I went ahead and made a mnemonic matrix right there. And you can see, I wanted to see if it would link up to both of the alchemical constructs, and it doesn't. So really what I'm thinking, the best way to make this happen is probably to go something more like this. Like there, or we could do it right there, I guess. Man, this makes more sense. So we'll put this like uh, like so and like so. We'll put the outputs on the back like that. And then we'll have to actually break this guy down as well and just replace it, because it's not exactly what I'm thinking. Yep, like this, bam, bam. Nailed it. And so those are what we're gonna set up. Now over here, we should be making some things happen. That takes a while. This thing takes a little bit of time. We can set up, I want to make two of these so we can go ahead and set up another one real quick. We have all the things there. One, two, three, four of them. Oh man. And we should have this right here. Ready for our lackluster finish? Wah, wah, wah. Nailed it. Ace it. Can we stop? All right. So we got this guy. Now what we're going to do with it I do believe the best place for this is going to be to squirt it right there. Then that's going to provide essentially to both of these guys. Now, what the alchemical construct is, if you do not know, is we can make stuff and things with it. So by providing it essentia and then the item that is needed to create this in a um, crucible. So for instance, well, we can actually just look it up. So if we were to go ahead and say we needed some salus, we need to provide. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We can make salus? Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh, it makes it into purifying bath salts. Um, so I'm trying to think of a way that we could show you like a way that this works to demonstrate it. Do I have an order or do I have a balance shard? I don't. So anyway, basically this is what it does. I won't demonstrate it for you, but, um, we can make things the way we did in the construct or in the uh, crucible without squirting stuff out of the, uh, out of our bodies into the puddle and having all that stupid puddle thing. This is like automated bomb craft stupid puddle. 
Um, and we got to give it a century, so that's what this is for. Now, we've got to go ahead and also get some other stuff and things going on here. We grab a couple of interfaces, like so, and then we squirt these into that kind. So we're going to take two of these and stick them on the back, and those are going to be our outputs. That's where um, our stuff is going to squirt back into our, our system. Now, we do need to make more of those mnemonic stuff and things. So uh, is there anything else in the system that starts with MN or has an MN in it? So these guys right here are ambers, uh, zombie brains, and some iron. So let's go ahead and make a couple of these guys. Amber like so. Grab some iron like so. Brain, because you need a brain. And then we'll make two, three more, I do believe. That should be enough. So now we can take these guys and we can squirt them. This doesn't really matter on the edges here like this. I think that'll work. Something like that. Now that's going to basically allow us to have multiple um, recipes inside of here or more recipes. So now we've got our output. We've got our input. Um, we've got to next also have a way that we are going to put items into here. So like this, I do believe we can do. Now let's go ahead and grab some cable. Grab some of our purple cable. And if we hook this up like so, we can go like this and like this. And then probably just popping it right down into here like that. I think this should be working. So we can maybe add a couple more of the alchemical or the uh, mnemonic matrixes on the front matrices <laughs> but i think this is working so the reason that i want to do this is that i can like i said start you know, not having to do the crucible thing um and get into making some of the um i do believe for first to start off with like some balance shards so um i'm gonna play around a little bit more but i do believe this is what we got we got it hooked up i'm gonna play with it and i'm gonna brbs peeps and we're back and we're just going to start making up another one of the essential providers here real quick and then we got a bunch of other stuff and things to talk about. Let's go ahead and do that. Shard core, Mundus, tube, like so. And then take our interface, squirt it inside of there. Bam! Now that Ace it, came up! All right, so we're going to let that thing do its thing. Should be good to go. I think we have all the stuff that we need for it. So over in here, all right, so I got this all hooked up. Now, I did went ahead, I went ahead and did this the right way. I put um, alumentum and, uh, or pardon me, nitor and filled these up with water. And then now they're working um, a lot better. And so we've got this stuff and things inside of here. So we've got the recipe in here for the balance shard, right? So we've got our Essentia provider right here. Now this is our ME interface. Now let's squirt back to the 1.8 real quick because I don't think we've got, we took out our pattern terminal. Yeah, we took out our pattern terminal. So we gotta go back to the 1.8 for a second and use the pattern terminal over here. All right, so let's go ahead inside of here. And I already got this set up inside of here. So you can see one order shard is gonna make a balance shard and we're gonna make a processing pattern for that. So we're gonna squirt that inside of there, head back to the wand eight. Did you make a thing yet? Still doing its thing. It's sucking up all of its sucky juices. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and inside of this ME interface, we're gonna squirt this pattern. So now, what should happen if we ask for a balance shard? Let's go ahead and just make one. Oh yeah, pardon me, also, I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of the Essentia that we're gonna need to make that. Air, Aqua, Ignis, Perdicio, and Terra um, are what we're gonna need in addition to the order shard. So those are the Essentia plus the order shard, the Essentia and the order shard, that's what we're gonna need to make it. So if now, if we go in here and we ask for a balance shard, is it gonna make it happen? Two, three, we did it, we nailed it. We aced it, we covered soft, we did it, seven things are happening, automated Thomcraft, oh my God. All right, so if we actually just take an order shard, I think we can actually, I can show this to you. Um, this way. So if we come inside of here and we put the order shard in there, there you can see that's from the Essentia provider. Bam, we nailed it. Ace that can't be stopped. So the Essentia provider is providing <laughs> alchemical contact with Essentia. And then it's squirting that out of the back here, but you can see it's set for order shard right there. Um, and it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. So now we're closer to our goal. Uh, this is the rabbit hole, peeps. We're closer to our goal of being able to make automate 16K Essentia. So um, we're gonna have to set something up for the Thomium ingots too. That should be iron and precantatio to make Thomium. So now that we have this set up, besides infusions, okay, we got this guy right here. So now with the Essentia provider, we won't need these things anymore if we provide 
the Ascension Provider um, if we make that a thing that is right near the Runic Altar. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is... Let me see how this is going to work. I'm trying to just make it look as nice as possible. But I'm thinking like right here, we just pop this guy out like this. Stick the Ascension Provider. Well, no, not quite. Not exactly quite. Right in there like so. Now we should be able to just take some cable. And for the purposes of what's going on today... Uh, where's our purple cable? Oh, right. We got it right there. So we should be able to take our cable and then just run it maybe just right upward. Like this. Now, I don't have any infusions that I need to do in order to show this off to you, but yeah, it's going to be a thing. So now we can hook this up like so. And... Nailed it! So now we've got to make something here. We've got to cover this up so it looks a little bit better. But now instead of needing all of these guys, we can just get all of our Essentia for our Runic Infusions, or ma Runic Matrix Infusions, straight from the Essentia Provider. So we can start tearing these things down. Let's go ahead and pop these guys in the inventory like so. Oh, you know what else we got to do real quick? We need a card now for doing some stuff. So we're going to go ahead and squirt a card down here just like that. All right. Nailed it. And then like so. So now what we can do is start popping all of these guys off and feeding. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, no. It's just, uh, I'm so excited. I just want to get these guys all inside of there, but we can't do it yet. We're just not ready. We still have to make the storage. That's the thing we got to do next. Oh, crap. We got to get this back up here. This is turned into a little bit of a messy room. So um, we've got to get the storage online. So let's just take a look real quick. All right. So we might need to manually craft some of these, I guess. So we got our 16k storage. The thomium ingots, we can do that. So we need the precantatio for it. Let's go ahead and get iron, like so. And then thomium. Oh, we don't have any yet. So we'll pop up here, nah, 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 like this. Watch, check this out. No, that's the wrong thing. So we'll go in here. Precantatio. Oh, we've got a little bit of it right there. We'll grab this guy. Um couple empty warded jars and we'll squirt this down right here like so we'll squirt this down like here like so we have coal in there we'll take half a stack of this essence and we'll start pumping it in let's see is it actually working okay so we're getting the air r uh, pardon me aurum uh inside right now and then we'll get some precantatio we'll stick that into our system so that we can go ahead and make more thomium ingots so i think Oh, we're out. We're out of Precantatio totally from making that other Essentia provider. So if we take this now, for instance, that's just all doing its thing. Pop that off. Pop that on. We should get a little bit. Are you squirting out of here? Eh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see. Because there's still Aurum in the system. Oh, okay. These pipes are so wacky, man. I always keep forgetting. I do believe because this path has to path up through. It might not, I might be wrong, but I think because this has to path up through here and this possibly already has Aurum in it, there's no clear path for the Precantatio to make it over. So, all right, there maybe now. Crap. I just had this working like two seconds ago. Are you working? Squirt it back in there. Stop squirting your thing and then squirt at your thing. Now we've got too much. All right, now now I got it. Ready? What? Why do you hate your slip gator? And we're back to this day. I still do not completely understand how these pipes work. So now that we got that on there like so, we got our one precantatio. That is so strange. I think if I switch these around, it actually should work. There, that was working. All right, so anyway, now we're going to take this guy. We're going to pop it inside of here. And that's going to suck up the precantation into the system. Nailed it. All right, so we got one iron. Let's grab another one. Let's go ahead and get iron right here like so. We should be able to, and I haven't done this. I'm not exactly sure. We should be able to say in this guy, stick our iron in and make the thomium. So if we go ahead and go like that, it's automatically doing it. Nailed it. Ace, it can't be stopped. All right. So now we get our thaw. 
me um out of here. So then we go back to the 1-8. And then we're going to go ahead and make another um, one of the processing patterns. We're going to say one iron makes one thomium. Nailed it! And then we'll pop that inside of here. Head back to the wand eight. Squirt down inside of here. Inside of this side, we will place this pattern. Now, we should be able to go ahead and make thomium. So let's go ahead and take here. Let's just take two minus a thousand plus one. Nailed it! Aced it! Can't be stopped! Alright, so now we're making Thaumium. We're on our way. So, um, what was the other stuff and things we needed to do this? So, for storage, 16k. We needed Thaumium to be automated. We need warded glass to be automated. Now, this actually can't be automated until we get the arcane assembler. So, for now, we would need to take some great wood. Like so. Like so. And then what was the other? Oh, crap. What was the other pattern? The other thing we needed? Brains. All right. So we'll just have to make some of this manually for now. Uh, what? Oh, glass, I bet. Because we can't see it. Nailed it. Now we can just make a huge amount of that stuff. So there's 40 of those guys right there. So now we've got that going. All right. So what was the other stuff and things we needed real quick? Let's see what else we got to get going on here. So ethereal essence, those things, everything else were kind of good to go. I think for now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and craft up a few of these guys manually. Enough so that we've got basically, I, I'm going to try to do all 10, so nine more. So that that way we can start getting all of these jars moved into the system. And we're back and it's working, ladies and gentle peeps. We've got stuff and things getting sucked into the system. It's the most amazing thing that ever happened. Just suck right in there, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, Holmes. All right, so now we can actually, we can take these jars and we can kind of discord them down like this and then wait, shift click with an open hand, of course, all these off. So we can get our lists back. It'll be a little bit more organized when we squirt this back into our AE system. We've got nine of the 16K storage disks made. Look, we've already got one just filling up, man. We've already got 12 out of 12 Essentia and that guy right there. But now we've got to take all these and start squirting them back into the AE system. And we are gonna make, oh, this is gonna be so great. I'm so, I gotta be honest with you guys. When I was playing, I, I can't remember if I told you this before. When I was playing before, and we were getting into Thomcraft stuff and things, I was really excited to do this. Uh, yeah, I can't think I told you guys about this when we were doing it, when we were doing the regular stuff. And we got into golems and started doing all that. And I wanted to kind of go down that road because I thought it would be, you know, a cool thing to do. Go to the old school Thomcraft stuff and things and uh, get golems rocking and all of that. But when I found out, to be perfectly honest with you, when I found out that you could use and do stuff and things with AE and Thomcraft, I was so, so very, so very, very, so very, very, very excited. Um, and then I decided to kind of hold off and not and not do it right away. Um, and I'm really sad. I'm, I'm glad we did it but I'm really excited about this stuff. This is so much fun. I cannot wait to get it all set up. And now we have cool stuff and things that we can play around with, and it's really, really cool. But that's all the time we have for today, guys. I hope you had fun hanging out. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.